philosophically, we like to tap into all the creative power we can from different writers, directors, producers for our music videos and our TV specials and our reality series. We do all that kind of programming around our artists, philosophically. We have found that if we control the creative to a large extent in our own programming, we can create programming that's not only entertaining, but that sells the artist. If you watch CMT, for example, uh, any 10 videos, you may find that the majority of them are, are good interpretations of a song, but they don't necessarily sell the artist because video production companies are charged with making a video that represents a song. They're not charged with marketing the artist. So when we, the reason we like to control all of our own video production is we need to have a video that's compelling for the song, but even more important is compelling to sell the artist. And so that we've just found that nobody knows how to sell them like we do. So, so we bring in great talent in terms of directors and DPs and uh, producers to partner these with us, but we always keep a hand overseeing all the creative. It's rare that a video concept comes to us through a production company. Redneck Woman, uh, let's take Gretchen. Redneck Woman here for the party, um, all jacked up. Um, uh, when I think about cheating, um, the one we're getting ready to do, California Girls, Politically Incorrect, every one of those videos came from Gretchen and myself and a couple of other people that are internal, every one of them. Um, Big and Rich, Save a Horse, Holy Water, uh, Big Time, um, uh, the one we, we, we have out right now, the 8th of November, all ideas created internally between the artist and myself and a couple other people, all of them. Cowboy Troy, same thing. So we just sit around and come up with ideas and, and then get great production teams to work with, basically.